All right, I don't know if that came out because it was all screwed up. Charles Street Supply is where I got these from. These are plaster washers. I got them like 30 years ago and we were gonna be in the house so I knew we were gonna be here a long time. CharlesSTSupply.com, CharlesSTSupply.com and these are uh, plaster washers, plaster washers. So if you got a whole plaster, instead of putting a whole sheet of plaster up here, and you got the keys that are back here that are loose, okay? The keys are when they put the two by fours, then they put all the, they nail the slats in, and they plaster over the slats. And they push it through the whole openings in the wood slats. So when the wood slats, when it dries, the plaster that goes through the back hardens, and that's how it sticks to the wall. So when, when we raise the house, or just with age, a lot of those settle and a lot of those keys break. So in this section right here, the keys are broken. So you see it's big crack right here. And sometimes there's two ways you can fix it. Sometimes the keys just fall inside and down and it's loose and you won't get the buckle. You won't get the buckle. So you can put the plaster washers on there to hold this whole sheet in place better. If you do one side, you normally gotta do the other side, okay? But another way to do it, if you just got a big buckle that you can't get rid of, if you got a big buckle, that means the plaster fell on this side, the broken pieces, and are bumping your plaster out, all right? So what you do is, if you wanna do it right, you gotta cut out that big bump out and pull the plaster keys from the back. All those plaster that broke, you gotta pull them out, and then you could attach the plaster back like this, back like that that's holding this whole piece of plaster where the keys were it's it's tight and snug then we're going to join tape and compound over this but if you do the other way what you're going to have to do is i believe it's five eighth inch drywall inch drywall however thick your plaster is and you screw that into it and then with your joint tape and your compound it'll look smooth like silky silky smooth but this right here you might make a couple holes because these plaster washers actually have to hit uh into a slat you got the wood slats and the gaps and sometimes you drill through where the gap is in the slat so you just take it out move it somewhere else and put it now you don't want it right next to it because it's just going to crack the plaster it got to be a little bit further back in than right on here got to be a little further back in you're going to put the tape right here anyways i'll probably put a piece of tape over here and then we're just going to plaster over it but this is only where like with this line right here there's nothing broken off. There's just a crack in the plaster. So this, a lot of this doesn't need the plaster washers, but I know up here, you push on it and you see it move. This definitely is gonna need a plaster washer. So I wish I could have somebody hold this so this way you could see what, let me see if I can get it up here. I know you're far away. Far away, so far away. I don't know if I can get it. So wherever else the plaster is moving, like I know, it's right in here. Oh, you need a, you need a one and five eighth inch drywall screw. I prefer the thin, thin, thin drywall screws, but I got some thin and some thick left over. And then you don't go on the crack, you go a little bit further from the crack on both sides. I should be at wood for the spinning on the road. Now it's flat, it's completely flat. So this, this doesn't move at all. Now I'm gonna have to put another one probably up here. But that whole side is down, so when I put one on this side and I tape right here, believe me, you're not even gonna see that, I'm gonna show you. Either way, that's repair and plaster. If you got broken keys, what to use. And you can't even see them, we get closer up. Okay, now that whole, there's four, six of them on that wall right there. Now when you joint compound that, when you joint compound that and put your tape on there, you're not even gonna see it and you didn't have to replace all that plaster with drywall. Okay, so we just checked Plaster Street Supply is still in business and my wife just ordered, how much were they, Milo? Uh, $35 for 21 dozen. $35 for 21 dozen plaster washers. That's what's holding all that in place. Those are plaster washers. So all the broken plaster that's sticking up, you're able to screw it down. They stick together, so make sure it's just one. So all this is loose press plaster. I got the plaster washers holding everything in place. 
Now my next thing is a joint compound. I'm gonna joint compound, not joint compound, tape everything right now. And I'm gonna tape off everything right now. You know, with these plaster washers, I'm gonna get a little, uh, they got a little painting body hammer. So I'm gonna hammer a little bit of flat. They got teeth in it, but and the teeth stick in there. But with my little painting body hammer, I'm just gonna make sure they're silky smooth before I start taping.